Hello, my name is Roger Kwok and I teach chemistry and physics here at Leeway Community College. So today I'm going to go ahead and use the concept of atmospheric pressure to kind of show you a magic trick that you can now use to wow and entertain your family and friends. Okay, let me kind of show you what it looks like first. All you have to do is have a bucket of water, okay, and then in here I have a bottle that I will go ahead and bring up like this. And now notice that the water okay, that's in there, okay, I used a little bit of yellow to help see it a little bit better. I'm going to take this and turn it upside down. Okay, so now I have the water in an upside down container. And when I move my hand away, voila, the water is stuck in the bottle. So what's happening? As it turns out, it's because of the fact that I have a film down here, okay, a piece of plastic down here that's holding the water up. So that seems like it's pretty impossible, right? But as it turns out, it's not. It is due to atmospheric pressure. So the air pushing underneath is actually helped to support okay, the plastic film that's now holding up the column of water. And if I were to use just okay, the atmosphere, I can actually hold a column of water that's about 10 meters or 34 feet tall. So this is not surprising it's able to hold this. But if I remove the support, let's see what happens. Whoa, all the water comes crashing out, okay, and crashing out. So let's try that again and see what happens, okay? So what if I were to do this again and see what happens, okay? So again, I have the water here, okay, in the jar. We're going to turn it upside down. Again, we know that it is because of atmospheric pressure that's holding it in there, so no big deal. Notice what happens when I remove the film. What's holding the water in the jar now? As it turns out, I can now cause the water to come out on command. Come on out. Come on out. Okay, and so on. So as it turns out, that's a pretty interesting. So what's holding it on there? As it turns out, it has to do with not only atmospheric pressure, but also with something called surface tension, where the water particles have a tendency to wrap over each other. So the way you would do this trick is you actually have a bottle that has the plastic cap with the hole cut into the cap itself like this. So this is the first one. As it turns out, the second one is actually a separate bottle that's a little bit different, okay? So this one's really easy to perform. You fill it up with water, okay? And then, basically, you put some sort of plastic sheet, like plastic, or you can even use cardboard, for example. The cardboard piece there. The cardboard, of course, is going to be one use only. So we can now take your hand away and it will hold that water in place. Now, of course, it could be good to have some paper towel around just so that you can you know, clean up the mess that you're making. The other one is a bottle that looks like this. There's still a cap with a hole cut, but this time now, there's actually a screen, okay, inside of there. So this is one of those wire screens you see on screen doors. Now, don't go cutting a hole in your screen door to make this. Okay, make sure you have your okay, parents help you. Maybe get a spare sheet somewhere to okay, do this with. And then just slide it in there and just cap it with this. So what happened in this case now is when you turn it upside down, okay, what is happening is that the screen wire is actually holding on to the okay, water itself and helping the surface tension to hold the water in place. By tipping it, you're now allowing it to kind of cut through some of that grip that it has and allow the water to come tumbling down on command. Okay? So hopefully, practice doing this and you'll be able to wow your friend and family with this magic trick using atmospheric pressure. So hope you enjoyed it. Okay? Uh, be sure to check out our other okay, videos as well. Okay? Thank you.